Okay, belly burners, <laughs> it's time for the photo shoot. It's time to get to the posing, and we're gonna go through it step by step, starting with the clothing, the outfits that you choose. Very important. My, my tip is that you wanna find colors that ideally blend with your skin tone. I like black, and I wanna make sure no bra straps are showing whatsoever. Cover them up. And whatever you feel like showcasing, so some people will wear shorts. I personally like shorts if you have very good legs. You wanna showcase the legs. Tank tops are great. Some guys go shirtless, some girls go into a sports bra, um, some girls go into shorts, or they can go into full pants. I'd say wear anything that you feel comfortable in. That's right. Don't come in feeling very stiff and like keep pulling your shirt down like, ooh, I don't feel good in this. You want something that you really can be relaxed in. And so these photos, you can take some that you would want to share on your social media. And then there's some photos that you might want to take for future reference, mm. right? And uh, you can do a combination of the both. Just be prepared with the photos that you do want to take. And most importantly, relax, be comfortable, don't be stressed about it. It's just an in reference at a time of the end of a challenge photo. We're going to take many more in the future. You know what my number one thing is, RJ? Smiling. People come in and they want to be a model. And so they have that straight face, like sometimes you do the, the look in the breeze. <laughs> but, and you can, you can pull that off, but your best asset is your smile, so don't be afraid to smile. Just look in the camera and smile. Exactly. So do you have any tips for makeup, skin tone, hair? A couple. Um, you know, darker skin, for some reason, will showcase that muscle more, so you want to make sure that you uh, tan either obviously not so much in a tanning bed but you can definitely get some uh, bronzer even from Rexall rub it in with your lotion and it'll totally make a difference and it washes off or of course we provide the spray tan as well so give it a try I recommend everybody to have some color because yes, if I agree. people are have color like me then you're gonna stand next to me and it's gonna be night and day, That's right. right? And always the tone is gonna look great. So if you're not into going to tanning beds, but if you plan to do some type of tanning, then you would probably wanna start at the very beginning of the challenge, right? Don't try and fry yourself in the last week. Otherwise, you can always get the, the spray tan and you can pick a color. And we promise you, the professionals that we work with, they're gonna give you a great color. Do not worry, you're not gonna look like an Oompa Loompa. Everyone you're gonna look says, like brown I sugar. Look orange. I don't wanna look orange. You're gonna look yeah. like brown sugar. Yeah, <laughs> it looks fantastic. And makeup, hair, any recommendations? Uh, you know, I love lashes. I, you know, obviously you're great, uh, all natural how you are, but if you wanna enhance, lashes I believe is a big one. Don't go over crazy on lipstick, you know, big pink or big red. I would say try and go a little more natural. We're trying to focus more on your body and the different changes that you've done in your body rather than those big flashy lips. Yeah, this is a lifestyle photo. Yeah, right. and hair too. I mean, you know, it's kind of nice seeing you guys all dressed up and, and your hair done. Do what, do what you feel comfortable in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think fitness shots look great with ponytails, but some of you guys walk in here with your hair all done and long and it looks gorgeous. So yeah. whatever you're good at. How often do you get to be dolled up? Exactly. And get on a red carpet. It's fun, it's right. fun. Right. Okay, so when it comes to hair, it comes to posing, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your hair isn't in the way of what you're trying to showcase. So if you have long hair, so Jen wouldn't have this hair coming over into her shoulder if she's taking a front shot because it's gonna take away from your, your ability to see some of your chest muscle, right? When you're in the back, you wanna make sure that your hair is out to the side and into the front so that it's not covering all the muscle. Remember, this is what we're doing. We're showcasing the muscle that you've gained and so you do, do not want anything hidden. That's true. And your coach is here to help you. For example, if RJ, if you turn around, you see this tag that's sticking out of his oh, yeah. shirt? I would come up and I would fix that for you, see? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when it comes to the forehead, and we're gonna work our way down, you wanna make sure that you're not like stressed out, right? Like you're like, you know, and you don't wanna be super tense stiff. Up. You don't wanna be tense, right? You wanna have a natural, like just be calm, guys. It's just a photo. You've taken thousands of photos before. Just let your, your face naturally relax, but don't let it droop, right? So you don't wanna be sleeping, but you also don't wanna be don't angry. You wanna be angry, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so when it comes to uh, eyes, you know, depending on the, the look that you're going for, some people like me, I'm always the, right? The, the, look, the, the looking into the distance. And some people have beautiful eyes, and especially if you got those lashes, you know, maybe you can showcase it. You can open up your eyes a little bit, but you don't wanna be like staring at somebody and you don't wanna be 
frustrated with somebody. I like looking right into the lens. I find that works best. What do you think, Jerome? Yes. All yes. Together, right? Looking at the Look, lens. Looking okay. into the lens. Nice. So I have the sexy eyes where you're peering off into a gaze, looking into a, a sunset. But that's the look that you're going for, right? Like if you were to take a headshot, you would look great in the lens, correct? I'd look like this. <laughs> you totally would. <laughs> and then you would take the shirt off. <laughs> what about the eyeballs? Right? So a lot of photos get taken with eyeballs. For instance, a side shot. And yeah. you're like, you're over here, so you're taking your side shot. Yeah. But the problem is if you're looking this way, right now you're only seeing the white of my eyes and you look possessed. So you want to be able to showcase some of your eyeballs. So you may be looking, your body may be looking this way, but you want to open this up this way and then you want to have your eyes slightly looking over there. So it looks like I'm looking this way, but you want your eyes over here so that you can see the color of your eyes. Otherwise, if I'm like this, then all you're gonna see is the white. So anytime that you're not looking at the camera, you wanna be getting in, get it into sight, into your visual, so that you can get as much of your, the color of your eyes as possible. I never thought about that, good idea. When it comes to smiling, so some people like to smile, some people like to do the perched lips. Yeah, it's up to you, gotcha, gotcha. right? Not a lot of people like smiling, right? Try one though. I hardly smile when I take my photos, only if I'm doing a goofy one. So if I was to take a fitness photo, me personally, I probably won't smile unless the All other right. person's smiling. And when it comes to the, the smile pose, you actually wanna bring your tongue into the roof of your mouth, mm -hmm. and then you wanna kind of flex the jaw. And the reason why it does that, so you can't even really talk, <laughs> right? And then what it does, it'll kind of like tone your jawline and then it'll bring this up so it brings the chin in, okay. right? So this thing that sits under here, it's gonna bring the chin in, right? So do you have any tips for smiling? Uh, no, no. Okay, so when it comes to the perched lips like you've seen, right? So you can do the gaze and you breathe out. And anyways, you should be working into your stomach. So you breathe out. And the reason why you breathe out is because it sucks all the air into your stomach and it makes you look more toned. So you breathe out and you hold it there and you get the lips going. So that's the sexy lips, the sexy lips. Yes, <laughs> I call them the J-Lo lips, the blowout. The blowout, that's right. Um, when it comes to smiling, I do find sometimes that people, uh, it looks very fake, you know, yeah. like one of these, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. just relax, you know, if you guys, we're gonna joke around with you and, right. and make you feel comfortable. So don't you don't have to come in here all stressed out. Just yeah. chill, be like you are on the blue, we'll have a good time. And even though there's other people here, one thing that I do is take myself to wherever I wanna go. So if I'm happy, I think of happy thoughts, right? I think of like playing with my kids or maybe Light. on a beach or somewhere. So like just think of that and so it's a, it's a true authentic smile. Right, so your feelings, you wanna feel it inside and then your body will project that on the outside. Okay. When it comes to the chin, one of the things I've actually been researching is you don't really want your face to be completely squared up with the camera. Mm -hmm. You want to have your chin slightly off to the side, but you want to have your eyes and you want to have a slight tilt. So it's like multiple things going on. So the chin is here and then it's tilted and then my eyes are peering into the camera. So see how that's just like boom, boom, boom. Playful. <laughs> Playful. Okay, so you got the chin lines. Any recommendation on that? Uh, no, face, I agree with you. Face, I totally right? agree with you. We're not yeah. taking a... Uh, it's the same know. with your body. Like, you know, you can get that really good straight on look, yeah. but I like I like the Angles. 45 with the little Angles. twist. Yeah, See, exactly. exactly. Big like difference. Yeah. Big difference. When it comes to the shoulders, you don't want to hide any parts of your body, right? So yeah. if I stand sideways and Looks I stand like, like no this, arm. right? Then yeah. I'm missing an arm, missing a leg. So when it comes to your shoulders, you always want to try and square the shoulder up. Even if you're, a, so a girl would be something like this, right? Relaxed hands, hands on the hip, right? Head tilted. When it comes to guys, even if you're hitting your side, right? You want to square the shoulder off. So you want to get as big and wide as possible, right? Mm -hmm. So guys would be posing like this, or even if they're doing the double by, they're here. And again, we're not looking way over here, we're looking over there, right? So with girls, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just relaxed hands, relaxed hands. We'll get into the hands. So always keep your shoulders as much, open up your body, even if you're backwards, try to open up your body. So if you're here, you can do something like this, right? Like you could turn your body, but not too much. But you want to be able to see, showcase both shoulders, and you want to try and get your browns of your eyes or whatever color your eyes are into the camera. Shoulders are big, they're number one for me, number one. So you can come in slumped, like look, look at the difference yeah. between this. <laughs> and then if I roll my shoulders back and push them down is where you can really start to see 
um, some definition, right? Like even if you're like this, it's, it's, it's slumpy, right? You really gotta focus on shoulders back and squeezing them down. Whether you're going front or if you're going back, there's a huge difference there. Mm -hmm. So you're always squeezing your shoulders, always bringing them back, bringing the chest out. And the one thing with the shoulders is creating that triangle. So you wanna try and see this is like a, a superwoman pose, right? So the elbows are triangled, the shoulders are triangle, you're making a V, right? Essentially you're showcasing this kind of look, right? Mm -hmm. Like an hourglass. And so you wanna create that triangle pose, right? As much as possible. I like it. When it comes to your arms, like guys like to do the, you know, the curl. And I think for this lifestyle, it's okay for you guys to, to do the posing. You don't have to like worry about having graceful hands, but we will talk about the hands. But anytime like you're, whenever you're taking a photo, every muscle should be flex. And this is, this is gonna be exhausting because you never know what photo he's taking, but you always wanna flex and feel relaxed at the same time. So if I have this arm out and here, this, look at this. In. See my fingers, they're loose, but I am flexing my arms. See my arm not flexed and relaxed? And then flexing, right? But it makes it look like I'm not flexing, but right now every part of my body, including my calves and my quads, are being flexed, right? So this one is flexed, boom, boom, boom. Every woman does the same thing. I'm like flexed like this. Yeah. Like, I'm not really sure what you're doing. Are you hanging from the monkey bars? Like, you wanna curl, first of all, let's make a nice fist like you work out. There okay, you nice and strong. Bring it up and bring them close yeah. to your head and there then you bring the, what I say, open. shoulders and open it up. Bring those elbows down, right? So nice, strong pose. Both on the front, you can even start high and just bring them down. Mm -hmm. Be careful on what you do because I feel like you're saying not to make a flex, right? Keep you know, ideally, if you can if you can hold potato chips, that kind of always okay. looks the best. I'll try that, right? It it just it just adds a little bit more of a graceful look. Yeah. But again, this is like a fitness where we're not like getting on stage. So right. if you want to flex, yeah. you know, go ahead. I feel like you should pick the part that you want to showcase and yeah. then bring it. Like yeah. if you want your tricep, go into the camera, yeah. bring it. Bring okay? it. Okay, like hey, I'm gonna flex my tricep. Boom, right? Don't just Hang, okay, uh, if I tell you to flex, yeah. flex, right? I want you to bring those arms to the camera. Squeeze. You'll see a huge difference. Squeeze, squeeze, yeah. squeeze, squeeze. Okay, let's move to the stomach. Jen talked about it, the vacuum, okay? So the vacuum is you basically take your, your belly button and you bring it in and up, okay? And what that's gonna do, it's gonna narrow your waist. So if I'm breathing out here, right, like that, and if I bring it in and up, I should feel tension right here in the bleaks and it's gonna narrow your waist by three to four inches. Okay, so bring that belly button in and up, no matter what you're doing. And you can see how I even got longer. So if I'm like relaxed, right? Right, versus belly button in, you can see how my chest rises, my whole body rises, and all of a sudden I go and I look like six inches taller. So belly button in and up for the vacuum. My belly tip is with your fingers. So a lot of people instantly do this. But if you got a little bit of chub that you wanna hide, just close it like a curtain right there. Fingers nice and tight, and then you're covering whatever you wanna cover. Use your fingers as guiders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it comes to the back, you, and you're gonna feel tension into that, into your back muscles. You know how we do a Superman? Basically, we wanna create that Superman into the low back, and you're gonna, actually gonna feel that. So when we talk about doing a deadlift, and we're saying arch your back, the same thing we want when it comes to you posing. You wanna arch your back, stick the hips up. So I always say- So you like that foot back? Yeah. I, that, see, that just naturally just natural, happens, right? Yeah. So the hips go up. If you're standing on the side, the hips should go up, back goes up, and your ass goes out, and your chest comes up. Belly button's in, chest is up, shoulders ass back is down. up, shoulders are up, rotating, getting in there, but being relaxed and flexing, 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 flexing. So when it comes to your thighs, especially if you're wearing shorts, you always wanna make sure that if whatever you're showcasing, that you're flexing, right? So I'm flexing this inner thigh, and I'm flexing the front thigh so that I can get my quads. Whatever you are, and I'm on my calf right here, and you can see that this calf is flexing, that calf is flexing, everything is going right there. Then I hit the arms, the belly button, the chest up, and all of a sudden now you've just embraced the entire camera. Don't forget about calves. Calves are very important, ladies. We gotta get those calves up, you gotta lift that heel up and squeeze the back of your calf right there. You'll see nice definition. That's right. Try and never be flat footed. So either have one foot up, right? So if you're gonna go something like this, mm -hmm. you wanna have, you can have one foot flat and then you wanna have your feet angled, right? So you wanna try and open up as much as possible and then you can have one foot back and you wanna try and showcase it, right? You don't wanna block it, you wanna showcase it, right? <laughs> so you open it up 
and you get onto the side, and, and all of a sudden you got your pose, right? So you want to have a flat foot up onto the toe, flexing that calf, flexing all the way up, right? And that's your feet. So when it comes to multiple Groups. people, like you and a coach or you and a friend, you want to kind of work around each other, right? And you want to try and mirror each other. So if Jen were to strike a pose, I always try to get people to do like a natural pose. And so I would kind of like layer her. Now the thing is you don't want to be in tight because now half your body is gone, but you don't want to be out of there. So I'm looking at this elbow and I'm trying to fill in that elbow as much as possible so that this shoulder is showcasing, right? So she angled like that then I would come in a little bit tighter to fill that gap because I don't want to have a separation between her and me too much. I want to try and connect the dots, right? So my elbow to her elbow is connecting the dots, right? That's and good. you see how we're almost mirroring? I like it. Yeah. When it comes to the big group photo, same idea, okay? So just find a pose that you absolutely like where you know it's like you feel comfortable and you can showcase your, your best assets, but you're gonna be basically molding around the person next to you, or you be the first one and everybody molds around you. So if you're the center, then you can be whatever you want and then people can mold around you. But in this case, Jen's here first, so Jen's gonna hit her pose, right? And I basically wanna hit my, I, let's see if I wanna hit my bicep. So I wanna bring my bicep over top of this arm and I'm looking like this, right? So I'm resting this arm yeah. here, but I'm back here. So now I'm still my own person but there isn't a weird gap between yeah, us. So I'm not gaps. out here, see how yeah. bad that looks? And I'm not back here where my bicep is covering or even worse, my arm is flexing in front of her face. That That's a person behind problem, okay? So if, I, if Jen's doing a bicep flex, right? If Jen's doing a bicep flex. Let's go this side. Okay, so if Jen's doing a bicep flex, I might, I might drop this shoulder, get a little bit lower than her and get into here, right? Or because this arm's coming out here, I might, you can see my triangle. She's coming up right here. You can even adjust her. And now we just created this, right? So my body's underneath here. My chin is above her shoulder, so it's not in my face. My arm is mirroring what she's doing here. So it's a continuous shot. It's a nice, beautiful flow between the two of you. So there's your posing, guys. Most importantly, enjoy the process. Come in, relax. See it as a fun thing. Be loose, be flexing, and enjoy it. Also, it's part of your journey. So this is something that you can keep tracking. The more challenges that you do for yourself, take that picture at the end and keep it going.